hello 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 if you're hopping on you're probably watching the live you might be watching the replay but if you're watching the replay put hashtag replay if you're watching the live put hashtag live i decided to come outside and get some peace and quiet for a minute because kids are crazy it's coming to that time where it's gonna be almost bedtime soon i got myself a water earlier Bailey wanted McDonald's, so I got myself a water, so I figured I'd come out and I'd make my, my reds outside, because it is so nice out right now. Hey, Anna girl, how are you? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I need some place to set you guys, so I'm going to set you guys legit right here so you can see me. I need to make these super, super quick, and then I'm going to go walk around. It keeps saying trying to connect. So hold on. I'm going to move for a minute to the back of my Jeep. Oh. Bailey's got a ton of her stuff up back here. All right. I'm going to put it right here at least. All right. So I figured I would come outside and get some peace and quiet with you guys. If you are home with your kids right now, you know what it's like to hide in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. I'm hiding outside because my kids are nuts. It's coming to that point during the day where it's going to be in a nighttime. Matt wants to take them outside. I'm over here like, all right, I'm going to do something for myself really quick. I need to make my collagen. I need to make my reds. I need to do that. And then I want to talk to you guys about something because I've talked to several. This super, super quick. And then I'll hot back on but I'm like oh my gosh <sighs> about to go into a freaking panic attack having kids home 24 7 it is Thursday and yes God love them but holy smokes my brain man my brain let's just go here this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna go inside my vehicle and I'm gonna sit inside that this is like my bathroom, okay? Whenever I want to I want to get away and I want to hide from all the craziness going on, I just I don't know, I just climb inside my vehicle and I just sit here. You guys hear how silent it is? It makes me feel so good. Anyways, hello. I'm hopping on. I wanted to come on here and talk about some stuff. I can't talk about that with the boy screaming, Bo sitting there screaming. Bailey's inside creeping on me already, ask, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing and whether she can come outside or not. But I was like, all right, I'm going to need some peace and quiet just for a minute. Just for a minute. Okay. So I've been talking to a lot of people lately, and it's not just about my business, but I talk to people about products all day long. Okay. Lifestyle changes. And this is something that came across my mind yesterday. Um, I was talking and I was listening to one of my personal mentors talk about the compound effect and um, things like this. And this is something that I feel like before I started working from home, I didn't really understand. I didn't get what it meant to live a residual life. Okay. And like, I didn't understand what re the word residual even mean, even mean, even meant. You see how crazy it is like being with kids all day long, like drop a two below if your kids are home 24 seven and it's already driving you nuts because that's my life right now. Like Bailey's literally standing at the door staring at me. <laughs> very, very awkward. Anyways, so um, I'm just unrolling my windows a little bit because it's freaking nice hot in here. So, um, here's the thing, compound, what I'm talking about, um, and residual is like residual is doing something in a compound way, meaning the little things that you do add up over time and it creates a big result. Okay. So this can go in several different views of your life. When you think, when you're thinking about like, about how you just gain, you know, three or four pounds, that three or four pounds did not happen overnight. That three or four pounds was literally a, a result of eating something over time that had made you gain that weight, okay? So, like, it's kind of like taking and going to Dunkin' Donuts, okay? Let's just say going to Dunkin' Donuts every single day for 30 days. And then at the end of the month, 
you look at the scale and you've gained three or four or five pounds. There's a reason why you gain those, you know, those three or four or five pounds. It's because of something that you've been doing over time. And so if you can go either way, it's the same. It's very, very similar if you were to take, you know, fattening coffee or fattening foods out of your diet. You can go either way. You can do small things and small actions every single day for 30 days and you're going to notice that you're going to drop weight. It's the same exact concept. Do you, like, do you understand where I'm coming from with that? Um, hi, Jessica. How are you, girl? Um, so it's, it's very, very similar and it works the same in your life for like good habits, bad habits. Okay. Before I started working from home, I had a very, very bad habit for 30 days straight. Actually, it was for more than 30 days. It was more for like three years straight. I was going out and I was spending my money and dumping my money on alcohol. Okay. That was my my daily small thing that led to my life going downhill. It was the decision that I made to go sit at the tavern every single day. And while every single day it was a small little action of me just driving there and buying a beer, it led to a, a bigger result after the end of those three years just by going there every single day and having one beer, right? As soon as you know it, I had dumped, you know, thousands of dollars into the bar rather than into my bills like I should have been. Um, same worked with my relationship with Bailey, okay? When Bailey was born, I was not the greatest mom. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was not the greatest mom. And it was because I was taking that time that I could have been spending with her and I was either going to work and picking up extra hours, even if it was just a couple hours here and there, I was picking up at the extra hours instead of being home with her. Or I was going to the tavern instead of spending time with her. So what had happened was while my life was slowly crumbling and going downhill day by day because of the choices that I was making, my relationship with my daughter was also going downhill day by day because of the choices that I was making, okay? So this worked the opposite way too. If you took just $5 every single day and put it into, you know, a savings account and you took $5 and you did that over the course of 30 days, right? Um, let's just say, I don't know, that math is way too, way too complicated. Let's just say a dollar. Okay. For 30 days, that's easy to do. So a dollar for 30 days over the course of 30 days, you not only have a dollar in your account, you have $30, right? So it's growing. So here's the thing, the compound effect, um, it's going to help even more when you have like a bank account that has an interest in it that accrues over time by you putting that in there. So you might be putting, you know, $100 in your account every single day for 30 days, let's just say that you'd accrue, accrue more interest with $100, but over time, that $100 is going to turn into like $3,000. So that just accrues over time. So here's the thing. It works the same going backwards and letting your life fall backwards and letting your weight go backwards and being able to, um, you know, go in a poor and a negative way. But it also goes the same in a positive way. So I'm thinking relating to like our lives. So like when I first started, before I started my business, I was doing all these bad things. And the minute that I started understanding that everything that I had done up until this point is why I have gotten to where I am. So like the reason why when I first, before I started working from home, my life was such crap was because of the decisions that I had made three years before that, three years prior to that. Okay. And so my life was crap at that point. And then I started switching my thinking and I said, well, if I did bad things three years ago that led me to here, then why couldn't I do good things and lead myself to a life of freedom in the future? And so I had watched this girl for an entire year working from her phone, creating a residual income. So what I mean by residual income is the small little things that you do every single day that lead you to having an income that grows naturally. So I'm saying like, <clears throat> you work, 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 you get paid. 
You work, you work, you work, you work, you work, you get paid. You work, you work, you work, you work, get paid. Work, 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 get paid. Work, 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 get paid. Work, 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 get paid. Work, 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 get paid. Work, work, get paid. Work, work, get paid. Work, get paid. Work, get paid. Work, get paid. 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 Okay, that's what this business is like. Yes, you put in a lot of work right off the bat and right from the start, right from day one. But here's the thing: the work, the paycheck that I'm getting, literally, we we get to know what our paycheck is tomorrow. Literally, and I'm gonna put the comp plan down below before you guys. The paycheck that I'm getting literally tomorrow is the result of work that I did not only two years ago, but it's also in addition to the work that I did three months ago and the work that I did two months ago and the work that I did last month, okay? My paycheck's going to keep growing because of the work that I'm putting in consistently every single day. And so that's why I love residual. And if you're, if you are needing extra income ever in your life and you want something that's so solid, get yourself a residual and hustle, hustle right from day one. And what's going to end up happening, you're going to notice by all the small little things that you do for your residual income or residual business, over time, what you're going to notice is yes, it, that the results from that residual did not show up instantly. It wasn't something that showed up right from day one. You didn't see the results from it right from day one. But what happens is from you doing that small thing, 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 that small thing eventually it's like you do that small thing and you get paid like six times what someone would have done doing a small thing in the future if that makes sense, or in the past, that if that makes sense. So it's all about, um, you know, do putting in the work now so that you can have a grand later. I say this to my team all the time, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm like hitting my head now. Just trying to get that moment of silence, guys. Like, it's seriously crazy. So like I say to my team all the time, Sometimes you have to give up the great, the good now so that you can have the great in the future because that's how a residual business or a residual income works. You work, you work, you work, and you work, you work, you work, and you work, and you work, and you work, and then you get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid without having to put as much work in. That's why I love my business is because every, the reason why we get these, these huge, you know, bonuses and things like that is literally just from, a, it's like a collaboration of small tasks that we have done over time okay so it's super exciting <clears throat> and I love residual and I love residual no matter what it is and when you learn really the true value of residual whether it's income or residual in your weight loss or weight gain or whatever you're trying to get relationship um, with your spouse or your kids or whatever, the minute that you you understand residual is when you kind of wake up and you start realizing that like, like you could have so much more in your life if you just gave up the good right now for the great later and you chose to put in the work to either grow your relationship or grow your business or grow your your um your life or lose the weight right now, even though you're not seeing those results right now, they're coming in the future. And you just have to be willing to put that work in right now without it, like without seeing that final result right now. You know what I mean? It's kind of like we have to pretend we're sleeping before we actually fall asleep, right? Like everybody here on this has gone to sleep at night before, right? You have to pretend you're sleeping, meaning you have to lay down, you have to close your eyes and you have to pretend like you're sleeping and then you'll fall, you'll finally fall asleep, right? This like working a business or losing weight or gaining a relationship or a greater bond with your other half is no different. You have to pretend and imagine yourself being there mentally before your body physically lands there. So that's pretty much what residual is, is pretending like you're successful and telling yourself that it's coming to you every single day and then eventually doing those small things every single day while you're pretending that it's going to happen. It's going to happen regardless. And same with your weight loss, telling yourself it's coming to you, that you're going to lose this weight and talking about all the weight that you're going to lose and thinking about all the weight that you're going to lose. 
and then putting in that small work to get your butt to the gym every single day or stop eating the the donuts that you're eating every single day or um you know just putting in the small little efforts of work every day what you notice is over time you end up hitting your weight loss goal because you chose to do those small things over and over and over again same with a relationship when matt and i when i first started matt and i's relationship was horrible and it was because there was little tiny instances where i kept leaving and i kept running every single time we had a confrontation i ran from it and i ran from it and i ran from it and those little tiny times all led to us not liking each other because of those times where i just ran away from him the little tiny things it just added up over time. Whereas when we switched it around and I started realizing, well, if I just gave him a little bit more time or if I just sat there and I spent a little bit more time understanding him or I spent a little bit more time on like getting to know him and figuring out who he is and what he likes and what he doesn't like in these things. If I just spent an extra hour just with him every single day for a year, we would become like unbreakable. And guess what? It's happened. It has happened and it's just because I made that decision and understood that my actions and my daily actions are what are going to lead me to either success or failure in the future. So I want to share that with you guys. Um, I'm going to go and go and see my kids inside that I'm hiding from right now and I guess we're going to come back outside. We're going to clean the pool and I'm going to put some more work in so we can have some great residual in the future. So if you have any questions, definitely shoot me a message because I love residual and then we'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys.